Hello, everybody. Uh, well, all right, let's go ahead and break it down for you. This video is going to be released after everything's said and done. Because uh, we've done a little bit more to the uh, to the wild thing and there's water in the pipe. I don't know why, but <laughs> oh well, that's the way it is. But uh, anyway, here we go. Some of y'all have got to see the pipe on. Some of you have not. Uh, this is the week before Sawfest, so uh, I'm filming this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it until next week. Uh, so I'm working on cutting this bracket off because I got to put something on here to uh, to hold it. So uh, if you got earbuds on, turn them down because this is going to be loud. on right now so I'm trying to do this without messing the pipe up or the bracket because I want to reuse the bracket if I need to so I'm trying to get it loosened up got the top done so <laughs> hopefully I can get the bottom off that making a hole in the pipe I figured that was going to happen. I put a little hole in it, but, well, that ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. We just grind it up a little bit and go over and patch it up.
good enough for now. I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet. How about doing this? And, well, that right there would just about work. It's off a little bit, but. Take me or myself. All right, let me find a boat and see if this will fit. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm filming some and not filming others. I'm just trying to get basically, I'm going to put it somewhere about right there. I'm trying to move everything, find out where I can put it. If I need to go up, need to go down. All I'm doing is moving things around, trying to use what I already have that exists. So I don't have to make nothing else. Uh, some people will say that's lazy or cheating or whatever, but I say it's economically friendly. Cause it don't make sense for me to sit here and build a bunch of stuff when I've got a bunch of stuff already built. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. Tell me what you think about that. I mean, the bottom's not quite touching, but I can, I can stitch out on there, and then go along the bottom side and stitch that on there. So uh, that's probably what we're gonna do. Now I can reach this boat, and I can reach that boat. And I got to make a guard to go up here in the front to help blow air across the front cylinder. I don't really have to do that, but I like for my stuff to last a long time. So the longer it lasts, the better I like it. All right. I'm going to take it back there and tack this thing on here and uh, blow that hole up. All right, I've got a little bit tacked right there. I got the hole welded up in the front of the muffler, in the front of the pot. We'll fall in the floor. <laughs> you know how it goes. Oh, Boo's in there jumping around and going on. I can hear. We got to take this off now. It was funny. All kinds of stuff in the pot. <laughs> All right, hold on. Well, I got the pipe done. <laughs> I wanted to paint it in my, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I'll tell you anyway. A brand new uh, paint can that I've had sitting back there for a couple months. Well, probably a little longer than a couple months, but brand new paint can. The nozzle was split down the front when I took the lid off of it. Started trying to spray it. That saw a gun was blowing paint everywhere. So I had to, uh, uh, had to go find another paint can and get a lid off of it. I did manage to find one, so that's a good thing. I need to put the uh, the divider in here. I wish I had a new piston for this thing. Because it looks... looks very rough the ring landing has got some wire in it <laughs> it does it has some wire in it I've got a piston 
that wheel fit in it, but it's uh, too big. It's too big around, so I'd have to put it in Brennan's uh, cutter and cut it down, uh, which we may do that sometime or another. I don't know yet, so uh, let me, uh, I got the paint drying on the pipe. Y'all gonna love it or hate it one. Either way, it's painted the color, it's painted. So, uh, we need to go to work on the chain. This chain's got some work done on it already and it's, it's not as aggressive as it can be, but it's pretty aggressive. I thought about doing another chain and taking this one separate. Uh, this chain's got a stretch spot in it or something. This is not the bar we're going to be running. So, all right, well, I get back to doing something interesting. I'll bring and show you. All right. I'm just going to show y'all a little bits of this stuff here and there. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Most of you, by the time you've seen this video, you have seen this saw. If you haven't yet, then you miss saw fest. So, uh, that's what it is. But, uh, uh, give me just a second. All right. I know some people find this stuff interesting and some people don't. What are we fixing to do? I've got one of these do flickies. Snatch the clutch off of it. This is a 387 pin. Or, yeah, that's a 387. We're going to see if we can find an eight. <laughs> well, I find eight tooth. I was going to have to modify it to put it on there because I don't have a, an 8 tooth small rim. And uh, while I was sitting there looking at it, I compared it to the back of the bar. And although I can put it on there, I'm afraid it would never stay on because <clears throat> it's a lot larger than the back of the bar and I'd have to probably custom make a bar. Because this is the sprocket. And this is the back of the bar. And she is way, way larger than the back of the bar. There's about four teeth that ain't in, four or six teeth that ain't in connection with the bar with that sprocket on there. So, uh, even though I want it on there, it's a negative. So, uh, we're going to see if we can build us a slider. Uh, I got to let the paint dry on the pipe so I can put the slider on to make sure the slider is sticking out far enough to uh, take up the the thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark the bar because we're cutting 8 inch uh, aspen cants. So I'm going to mark 9 inches on the side of the bar just to give me an idea of where I'm going. That way I know that this is nine inches from the tip. So I know I got to have at least that much. And I don't know why, but I'm having so much trouble with the, this is the bar we're gonna be running. Brand new one. I bought it, I've been waiting for this opportunity so uh it says 57 drivers so i'm gonna pause this i'm gonna cut some chain and i'm gonna start grinding on some chain and we'll have a look at it y'all don't want to see me grind chain i almost forgot to film this y'all this bar calls for 57 uh tooth chain but i'm running a bigger sprocket than what it's supposed to be so what i do I don't know if y'all can see this or not. There's a zip tie right here holding the chain link together in the chain. So I put the chain together. I cut it 57 lengths, put it on there, make sure it fits and that the 
make sure your adjuster will go back far enough to fit this stud. Because I have done some that the chain would fit and then the, the side cover wouldn't back off enough to grab the bar. But I've checked this one and it does. So I'm going to make two of these chains and I'm going to sharpen them a little bit different than what they sharpen. Because he said, as long as it's round ground, I can... And I'm going to use a, a cheap grinder that any firewood cutter or anything else can use. I'm going to sharpen it with that. So, uh, yeah. As long as it'll fit in the parameters of that grinder, I think it'll pass the spec. <laughs> all right. We're not going to film all this, but I'm going to film some of it. I've got an undisclosed angle on the grinder. So we're going to re-angle the top plates on this on these teeth. That's a bit more than uh, than it is from the factory. Just a wee bit more. All right, we're not. I'm not going to film all this because. It's going to take me a little while, but I'm going to make two different chains and see what we can get done. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. You don't want that sucker against you. You do not want that thing against you. This is going to be sharp. I'm marking that, hoping I can see it when it comes back around. But we're just going to, we're going to just walk around this thing. This would be a little easier with an older chain, but these are two brand new chains I just got done making. Telling you what, we're gonna find out what it do. That's all I can tell you. That's why I'm making two. I'm I'm going a little aggressive with one and the other one not so much. Because I'm I'm pretty sure what we're gonna be cutting, this this thing will be capable of pulling this with no problem. But I want to make sure I got an extra chain just in case we'll do some testing team. If it's too aggressive, then I'll back her down a little bit on the other one. The other chain will be a little more conservative than this one. Yep. I'm not going to test this one until we get up there either, so. But we don't have the kind of wood they're going to be cutting, so. I got to wait till I get up there to actually. To actually get a hold of some of the wood. <laughs> Alright y'all, I ain't going to make you sit here and watch. I'll show you what it looks like up close if I can. Alright, I'm grinding the, I'm grinding the rakers now and I'm about to forget to film it. All I'm doing is taking the raker. Turning the angle and the height. Some of these I've already done. I'm just taking a little bit more off the the, uh, the angle and I grind all my rakers by eye not by gauge so I'm sorry if you don't like that but it doesn't matter whether you like it or not it doesn't matter whether I like it or not so 
This makes it a little easier to knock the raker down. All right. I think this thing's gonna rip and strip, but let me see if I can show y'all. Let me turn my headlight off. Camera around. Round ground, handset rakers just by eye, they're all a little different, but the teeth ain't, they're sharp. The teeth are not, they are razor. Now I'm not 100% done with this chain yet, but that's all you're going to get to see. Not because it's top secret, I mean the next thing I'll do is take a file and touch it up, I mean it's not really a secret. But I'm not going to film all of that because, well, I, I may not even do it right now. I might just wait. <laughs> oh, mercy. Honestly, I probably will wait. I probably, because I don't do so well with file. I mean, I ain't sharpening a chain with file, but it really hurts my back. Leaning over the vise, leaning over the saw, it doesn't matter. Just leaning over, period, hurts my back. So, I probably will not fool with it. And this chain here. This chain here, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet so uh yeah that's why i have my zip tie to hold my link together while i while i made the chain it works real good for testing purposes and stuff so i'm probably not going to show what i'm going to do with this chain right now Cause this chain here, I'm just gonna basically leave it stock. I'm gonna take the rakers down a little bit and just hit it with a file and uh, open the, the notch up. Cause you, you see, it don't have a very good C to it. So yeah, we get the muffler, the pipe and I'll put back on the saw. We might fire it up. And let y'all get a listen to it. Because who knows the next time it, it might not be running anymore after the weekend. So <clears throat> we'll see. I think it'll do. I, I got to put some alcohol in it. It's out. But uh, we'll have a look. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I missed a spot. But nonetheless. Still stock chain. Got everything put on it. Now, for those of y'all that ain't seen it, you're going to get to see it right now. I run out of fuel early. I want to make sure there's no water in here. Ain't a lot of trash in there. Doing pretty good at keeping it clean. All right. There's another thing that I need to do yet, but I'll do it here directly. 
<clears throat> ain't no reason to show you all it is is the the choke can flop up and down i'm just gonna drill two little holes and put a piece of uh something in there to to hold it so uh so it can't jump out all right let me uh get us moved a little bit all right i don't know how this is gonna look but hopefully y'all can see it chain does not seem to be oiling now of course we've run a bunch of alcohol through it i haven't checked it recently oh yeah she's dry <laughs> all right let me sit there sit there all right we're about done let me turn this back around all right, I hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, needs a little bit more tuning. But, uh, yeah, that's a stock chain. Just remember that. And there is a, uh, there's a little more tuning to be done yet. And that is a bone stock chain with no oil on it, mind you. So I'm going to get some oil in it, fire it back up, and just piddle with it a little bit. And, uh, well, hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Bell hopper out.